Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up effects units and assign effects in Traktor. In order to display the effects units, make sure you are in either Extended or Mixer Layout. In this video, we will use the Mixer Layout. In case you still can't see the effects units, go to Preferences, choose Global Settings, and make sure you have Show Global Section enabled at the top of the screen. In case you still can't visualize the effects units within the Global Section, make sure you're viewing Tractor in full screen mode. If the Global Section still does not show up, resize your lower decks by double-clicking the grey area at the upper edge of them until the Global Section shows up. Please note that the effects units share their space with the master clock on the left and the audio recorder on the right. If you cannot see the effects units, click on the effects button at the edge. To customize your effects units, choose the effects tab of the preferences. On the top you can set up your effects unit routing. You are able to choose between two and four effects units. In this video we will use two effects units. In the drop-down menu for both FX1 and FX2, you can choose the routing of the effects. The most common setup here is to have all the effects units set to insert. The send mode is used for advanced send return effect chain for DJ setups including external mixer or audio interfaces. For more information on how to use the send effects, please consult the link in the about section of this video. When set to post fader, the effect is acting even after the volume fader of the deck is pulled all the way down. This is useful, for example, when you set delay freeze effects and want the effect to blend in with the audio of the deck you are mixing in, even after the channel has been fully closed. In this video, we are setting both the effects units routing to insert mode. When the restore parameters when switching effects box is ticked, Traktor loads the default knob position and button states for each effect when switching. In Traktor, this is called a snapshot. Every effect has already a default snapshot saved. However, you are able to save your own snapshots as well. To save a snapshot, click on the number of the effect and choose Save Snapshot. To recall a snapshot for a single effect knob, you simply double-click the knob. Under Effects Panel Mode, you can set your effects units to either Single or Group Mode. In single mode, you can choose one effect per effects unit, but you're able to control that effect with four separate knobs and four buttons. In group mode, you have three separate effects per effect unit. However, each will have only one control knob and one on-off button. This means in single mode, you have more control for your selected effect. In this example, we will set the effects one unit into group mode and the effects two unit into single mode. Under Effects Pre-Selection, you can add and remove available effects to create your own list of pre-selected effects. This refers to the selection of effects that you see when changing the current effect. Choose an effect and hit Remove to delete it from the list of pre-selected effects. If you wish to add previously removed effects back to the list, choose the effect under Available Effects and press Add. By choosing an effect and clicking the Up or Down button, you can sort the order of your effects as you desire. Make a selection of the effects and close the preferences. Now, let's first have a look at our effects 1 unit. As we set the panel mode to group, we are able to select 3 effects. If you wish to change the panel mode to single, you can also do this by clicking the number of the effects unit and choosing single from the drop down menu. Same goes for the routing type. To choose which effects unit you wish to enable for which deck, click the corresponding effects unit number in the corresponding deck's effects assigned section. If no effects assigned is enabled, you will not hear any effects. If you wish, you are also able to have multiple effects units assigned to a single deck. Here we are enabling effects 1 unit for deck A and effects 2 unit for deck B. As we set the effects 1 unit to group mode, we are now able to choose three different effects from the pre-selected list.
There is an on button for each of your three loaded effects. Press these to turn the effects on or off. With the dry wet knob, you are able to mix in between the unprocessed and the processed signal. Turn the knob clockwise to bring in more of the effect, or counterclockwise to reduce the effect. Each of the three effects also has one knob for setting a value specific for that effect. Most effects react differently to this knob. For example, in this video, we have loaded a reverb, filter, and delay. The reverb we are able to control with values from 0 to 100, meaning the larger the value, the more reverb you will hear. With filter, the neutral position is 50. When you turn the knob for a lower value, the filter cuts out higher frequencies. When you enlarge the value, the filter cuts out lower frequencies. The control knob of the delay effect works completely different. You can set the delay time with different values expressed in fractions of bars. Please find more detailed descriptions of all the effects and their parameters in the Tractor Manual section 14.4. When your effects unit is set to single mode like the effects 2 unit in our example, each effect you choose has three separate control knobs and up to three varying control buttons below them. The on button is located below the dry wet knob, which works in the same fashion as in the group mode. Browse through the effects and learn how you can control each one of them to spice up your mixes in your own style. <laughs>